The last case we're going to talk about is continuous rate. And continuous rate differs from the above problems in that it's continuous. And we'll explain what that means. So think about your bank problem. If we have a certain amount in our account and it compounds monthly, that means that we have a set amount for the first month and we stay at that amount. At the end of the first month, we see interest added and our amount in our account jumps up to this new amount. And then it stays at that new amount for a full month before it jumps up again. And so it's only increasing every month and it increases 12 times a year. With continuous rate problems, what we see is that we have something that is increasing or decreasing continuously, nonstop. An example might be that we have something along the lines of, well, really big populations tend to be increasing or decreasing continuously because there's always individuals that are being added to the population. It's not like we add an individual every day. It's all the time. It's nonstop. Another example is actually think about the temperature in a coffee cup. That is decreasing and it's decreasing continuously. So the temperature, once we pour a fresh cup of coffee, is always decreasing, it's going down. It's not as if it stays at a high temperature and then after a minute jumps down. No, it's always decreasing. That is a continuous rate problem. And with continuous rate problems, as soon as you see the word continuous, we're working with a base of E. Here's the general equation. We have A equals A naught times E to the RT, where, again, we see T is our input. It's the time that's passed. And the increment of time does get based on what R represents. A, which is our output, is the amount we have after a time T. A naught, or A sub zero, is the initial amount. And R is your rate in decimal form. Let's look at an example. Example five, Charlotte invests $3,300 into account which compounds continuously. Okay, right away we have A equals A naught E to the RT. At an advertised annual rate of 2.75, I'm gonna write R equals positive 0 0.0275. And we know A naught is going to be the 3,300. We want to know how much money will Charlotte have in her bank account after five years. Well, because this R is 2.7% per year, that means T does in fact represent years. So here T is five. And we're solving for A. We get A equals 3,300 times E to the positive 0 0.0275 times five, A equals 3,300 times E to the, let's see what five times 0 0.0275 is, Get 0 0.1375, A equals 3,300 times, let me just find my E button on my calculator. one point one four seven so a equals three thousand seven hundred eighty six and forty three cents and that's my final answer if that problem made sense for you that's awesome you can move on to problem six if not go back review problem five and then go on to problem six when you're ready